LeBron's career is so littered with unbelievable stories involving some of the most famous people in the world, so we couldn't have him here without asking about a few. So tough, you have to. So it's time for Sir Rod's Celebrity Stories. Sir Rod's Celebrity Story Time. Get it, Jesse. Um, I'll hit this button, this really expensive button, um, and our highly intelligent supercomputer will sift through the list of every celebrity Rod has ever talked with. There's many. Um, then one of their photos will be will pop up on the screen, rather, and Rod will tell us the story of that person. Here we are. You ready? No. Well, you have to be honest. You said you like to tell the truth. I do. Yeah. Okay. I'll try. Here we go. Okay. Oh, that's oh. awesome. Another sir. So wait, so what can you tell us about Sir Elton? Well, we've been battling out since the 70s when we both lived, you know, very close to each other in England, but uh, we love each other, but we also detest each other at the same time. Oh, this is like yeah. me and Blake Shelton. This is, is our relationship. Yeah. Yes, he's a country singer. Yes. So <laughs> once uh, I had big banners. I was playing a concert in London, I had huge banners. Blondes Have More Fun was an album. <laughs> and uh, Elton had it shot down. He got somebody to shoot it down. Shoot the thing down. Oh my gosh, did he put anything else up? Hmm. What did he put up? Brunettes have more money. <laughs> <laughs> now that's funny. Absolutely true. <laughs> that's funny. <sighs> oh my god. Okay, so let's see who's next. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, Janice Joplin. She Texan. That's where I'm from. Yeah, Janice, um, well, I was, we were on tour with Janice with Jeff Beck and you know, Ronnie Wood and I. We were all in a hotel together and she chased us around trying to get into our trousers, I think. <laughs> you make it sound so fancy, trying to get into your trousers. Oh, she was pretty scary. I know, well, I'm just saying, most Texans would we have phrased it. We were little, tiny, little, like, children. <laughs> and... Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. She might have broken it. I know, but the... Br <laughs> <laughs> or you might have had a good time. Let's go again. <laughs> Oh, Freddie, Oh, Freddie Mercury, man. yes. Yeah, my man. Wait, tell us something about that. Just, just, just lovely. Um, uh, there was one time the Queen were renting a house yeah. in Beverly Hills and me and Elton went round to have cocktails and other things. <laughs> <laughs> the truth, and I like. after the cocktails and things were taken, we seriously were going to form a band called Nose, Teeth and Hair. How drunk were you nose, with this idea? I the teeth and Elton had no hair, so... <laughs> oh, my God. Cruel but fair. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, wait. Next, I just want to... That would have been a fun party, a fun hang. Okay, here we go, next one. Next famous friend is... Oh. ASAP Rocky. How do you know ASAP Rocky? And please say you've partied with ASAP Rocky. No, not really. He's, uh, he, he, he covered a song of mine oh. that I recorded in 1969. Oh. So that's how we got to know each other. But, you know, we haven't partied together. I think I can't consider him he's um, missing a close out. friend. Well, he's missing out, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, he's a, it was a good song. did very well. My children were very proud that he covered one of my songs. Isn't that something? You do so many things yeah, in your really career annoying. and you feel really proud. <laughs> I know. And then your kids are like, you know Ariana Grande? And I'm yeah. like, you really know what? Yeah. I'm like, I'm cool, too, to yeah. some people. Yeah. But thank you, ASAP, for the cover. Keeping us going. It's cool. Oh, oh the who? who? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh well, so this is. Oh no. <laughs> wait, what was your what was your experience? Oh my God, <laughs> disgusting. What? Well, we in those days we used to take a lot of drugs. This is a long time ago. Can I talk freely? Yes. So Keith Moon would keep us going. I know Bianca Jagger was with us. We were in a crowd, and we stayed up all night. Sun was coming up, and Keith Moon said. We're going to a party, it's still going on, but we have to wait till the public house opens at 11. So we'd been up all night and I was just so tired. I said, Keith, I've got to go home, mate, I'm too tired. He said, F off, Stuart, F <laughs> <laughs> What's a public house? What do you mean, a, like a bar? Oh, oh, like, a, oh, okay. Yes, in those days, they used to close at 10 at night and open at 11 in the morning. Oh, no, that's I not was, my crowd. I was the weak one. I said, no, nah, mate, I'm going home. I've had enough. 24 I've, hours up. Oh, I've always been the weak one. There's, like, maybe two times in my career I've done something fun after a show. Other than that, it's, like, Scrabble and books. <laughs> so that's it. You should come out and talk about us lot, Here's mate. the thing. I can't... I'm not like that. I like having fun, but it's never, like, while working. Because it's keeping my voice. I don't want to suck for people paying their hard-earned money. You so do I don't... <laughs> oh, I've had enough of this, haven't you? 
Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I teed myself up for that one. I accept it, but no. Um, <laughs> no, I don't want to be. I don't want to be like a bad vocalist on tour. I want people to no, pay no, their money. No, so you're absolutely right. Yeah, I always get worried. So yeah, I was yeah. a nerd on tour. No, you can't. You can't do long nights. I can't do long nights. Uh uh. It just no. ruins your voice. Yeah, and I'm like, nope, nope, nope. Um, but that's enough about me. Um, Rod's new album is called The Tears of Hercules. Go buy it right now if you're cool.